Welcome back guys to Big Rig Fix. This is part two on how to install DPF filters on a Detroit Diesel DD15 after treatment on a Freeliner Cascadia. So these filters right here, this, you're either gonna have them, these, these were get baked or blown out. These particular ones are blown out or you install a new t two DPF filters or one, either or. Um, this is, and the part one is to how I remove these filters. This is part two and how we do reinstall them. Um, you can see right down the right hand corner, the arrow, please guys like, subscribe, appreciate it. Totally comments. Um, all the tools are gonna be down in the links. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a link down below and uh, to send me, send me an email if you want to, because after you put, install these, uh, in Detroit software, you got to you, you need to reset the, the you know, the computer that you've had replaced these, put new ones, or had these cleaned, because the computer kind of resets the parameters that it knows that these are clean and these are to start over um, the the timer or whatever the computer needs it needs to know that they've been done. So uh, I will send you how to do that and down below the links, and I'll send you the link or video and I'll explain how to do that. I have the software and everything. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, guys, this is the, you got to make sure you're, you clean this gasket off. You can see right here, that's a new clamp. You got to buy a new clamp because it has this gasket that's uh, glued into the inside of the, the clamp. So you got to buy new ones, but you got to clean that other stuff off. I use like a small uh, screwdriver. Looks like I've known to work really well and just go, go along and just, it takes a little bit of time, but you make sure it's nice and clean. So, and I get like a little wire brush and just make sure I go around and make sure you get all the excess gasket material off uh, of the surface. You know, just make my hands fill around and see if I have anything, anything else. Here's a new gasket and put on. And uh, here's the other side. Uh, different the other clamp too. Sometimes you got to repulse base because they're so rusted out. You got to replace them both. And here's a new on the other on the in front of the DOC. That's the gasket for that. You got to replace those two um, new gaskets for on both sides. But we'll do this one first. I take the bolts off um, of that clamp and put it around in the middle on both of them and. Just kind of you, you got to move it, maneuver it around, kind of work it in there. It's not too bad, as you can see. And uh, you got to use like a, a, a pry bar, and you got to make sure it's lined up and work it in. Some of this is a lot edited; it takes a lot longer sometimes to get it in. Just add a um, a bolt to the clamp. I must have took that off, but yeah, and get this other side lined up. I just tightened it just to get it not fully tight, just kind of a little snug so you can still move it. And I got to line that fil other filter. You got to make sure it's lined it because the gasket's right in the middle, so you got to line it with the best you can. And you you got to keep on working it. You'll see. Um, um, and I don't fully tighten this up because. You remember, you still have to put these covers on. So these these gaskets, these um, clamps need to be set next to each other inside the middle, um, which I'll show you too. So right now I'm putting the other side on right now. That's the other gasket for this side. And I'm showing you how to take that. I'm going to clean this one too. You got to clean the filter side too. I forgot to tell you that. Uh, make sure you clean the filter side both sides one on the on the one box and on the filter sometimes they'll leave extra residue so I just go through and clean it which I already cleaned the other one and put the clamps in the middle and work it in make sure it lines up make sure the gasket stays in too you just want to make sure by the DOC that little gasket stays in and, and get the nut in there and line up Push it down. You can see I'm getting all the, the clamps in the middle there, kind of working them in. It takes some a little bit of effort to uh, not effort, but 
Um, you got to play with it. Make sure you get it lined up right. Because that gasket too. You don't want to tighten these up because that gasket will come off. Um, and it'll stick to, or it'll come off or stick to the, to the um, DPF filter. So right now I loosened the other clamp. Kind of, I didn't tighten them up as I told you before. Don't tighten them up yet fully. You're gonna, you're gonna have to move them to get these other ones in, uh, to make it lined up, on both sides, and, and uh, so you can. Uh, uh, those these clamps have to sit inside there so they could put the covers on so uh, that's why I didn't tighten the inside one I just put them in snug but then they could still move you could do the the smaller one tighter but don't put the the bigger one with the gasket on really tight because you don't want it to come off so just to get it so it stays on and and snug snug on the more snug on the the smaller clap so so you can move, when you put the second one on you can move it uh, because you're gonna have to because these uh, you have to slide these got the clamps inside and you're gonna have to do a little bit of moving around to uh, make them fit right as you can see I'm trying to make it sure it's lined up on the one with the gasket clamp you can see I'm uh, loosening just loosening up and you can see there's a pry bar right there in the little corner right there and it's, I'm kind of maneuvering the, the gasket so it's, it seals just properly it's perfectly lined up as best you can get it so it's all around even. And it's getting a good seal for the exhaust. Then I tighten. Then I'll tighten it up. You know. Tighten the other side. On the other side of the filter. See, this is how I. You got to make sure when they go inside how they how they line up. You got to make sure they fit so you can put the covers on. So um, you can see how I got them all lined up right and tightened up, and uh, how they got in there. It's just, this is a good example of how you get them inside there so the covers will fit that's why I left them loose because you need to work them a little bit I'll put some anesthes on this temp sensor it's a inlet temp sensor no outlet DOC outlet temp sensor which I didn't I put it on because I'm gonna get ready to run a unit just to check it check and make sure there's no leaks I'm gonna take it back off anyways to put the panel on so uh, you would see some uh, major exhaust, but that's just burning. You see a little, the, like, uh, burning off of my grease off my hands and the material uh, grease from the clamps. So just make sure that you don't see any of that. But I replaced uh, these clamps. You could buy in your, your dealers, Freightliner dealerships or Detroit dealerships. Um, and install new ones. I'll put this, this panel back on. Um, I didn't get the rest of this, put all the panel, I was just checking on part one of where I remove them and how I remove move them. So if you need to refer back to that, I take them off. It's the same way to put them back on. Um, and, uh, and just remember when you, after this, you need to reset the, um, the, pro, the uh, Detroit software to reset the, DPF ash. Uh, it needs to know where the ash, if it's been, res where uh, the levels. So it resets it to zero so the computer knows where it's at. Just wants to know that it's been cleaned and because uh, they had to clean, I think, three, uh, 350,000 miles. So um, I'm going to leave a link. Uh, just email me. I'll put my email down below. This is going to be Big Rick Fix at Big Rick Fix News and on, no, just look at the email below. I think it's administrator Big Rick Fix News and ask, and I'll send you the video on how to uh, reset the ash level. And uh, thanks guys for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I know my voice is kind of monotone and boring, but I'm trying to improve that. And uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, all the tools will be down in the listing. And I'm trying to release a video once once a week or every other week. Just depends. It's, it takes a lot to edit these and uh, get these out. But I'm trying my best. I got a lot to do. So um, please like, subscribe, and push that notification bell. And anything you would like to see or anything like that. And I have a PayPal page, PayPal and uh, Patreon. Not yet. Eventually will. So thanks, guys. Thanks again for watching. See you later.